Welcome back, folks. Greg Silverman for another Come Learn With Me session. Uh, another one in the uranium patch, the beautiful Cape of Good Hope behind me. If you ever get a chance to visit the Fair Cape, I suggest you do. All right, let's muck in, as they say. Uranium will rally in the next five years as a shift to nuclear energy is inevitable. News. Sandstorm gold royalties. Uranium surged this year, making it one of the hottest commodities in 2021. Uranium spot prices hit a nine-year high in September and are up about 50% year to date. We're starting to see countries around the world accepting nuclear energy. Those countries realize that if they want to reach a carbon neutral fate, carbon neutral future, nuclear energy has to be part of the equation, emphasized John Bay, president and CEO of Standard Uranium. They spoke to Michelle McCorry, lead anchor and editor-in-chief Kitco News at the Mines and Money L London Conference. Standard Uranium is a ch Canadian uranium exploration company. Also, uranium prices skyrocketed this year because of the launch of the Sprott Physical Uranium Trust this summer. Sprott purchased millions of pounds of uranium this year. Uranium equities and uranium ETFs also rallied significantly in 2021. The spot price of uranium was trading around $34 for a long time, and then Sprott unexpectedly came into the market. Sprott started buying uranium off the Sprott, Sprott, off the Sprott market, which led it to a nice rally from $34 to $51. They said uranium has come back down to about $46, but it's got a long way to go. The fundamentals, the big picture for the uranium market is strong. There's not enough supply out there to meet demand. Bev Bay explained why he expects it will be a big, be big moves to the upside for uranium prices in 2022. There's demand coming from all over the world. China has just announced 150 nuclear reactors to be built in the next 15 years. And that's only one region. The US has 95 nuclear reactors in operation. They said, we now have bipartisan support from both sides of government wanting nuclear reactors to stay operational longer, which is going to drive more demand. They discussed his short and long-term outlook on uranium. Currently, the spot price of uranium is about $46, but in the next 6 to 12 months, the spot price could be tra trading in the mid-50s to the mid-60s, Bay said. I would love to see it trading in the 80s to 90s over the next five years. It would allow uranium companies to continue to finance, to do our work, and allow those mines to produce for many years and be profitable, continued. 80s to 90s, yeah, I'd love to see that as well. I don't know if uranium will hit its all-time high of 137 per pound like it did in 20, 2007. There were a couple of major incidents that occurred that caused the price to go up there. A flooding of a mine took away a lot of the available supply. Which mine was that? That was um, Cigar Lake, Kamiko mine. Kamiko, yeah. Uh, realistically, I would love to see the spot price hit the high 70s or 80s and stay there for long term. This is quite sustainable for many mines. Bay stressed that, he, that the need for clean energy will take precedence over the stigmas of nuclear energy disasters. Climate change and the growing need for nuclear energy is taking forever. For example, in Germany, the price of electricity has gone through the roof with reliance on solar and wind, while their carbon output has not really improved that much. <laughs> really? That's funny. Not funny, I mean, it's sad, right? He explained, countries around the world are comparing Germany to France. France has gone all in on nuclear energy. They are building more large reactors and moving to small modular reactors. They are producing clean energy and selling that to Germany. As climate change is tackled, nuclear has to be part of the solution. It was recently announced at the United Nations Climate Change Conference, COP26, that nuclear energy will be included in environmental, social and governance issue, investing. This means that for the first time, nuclear, that's, that's a big deal. Wow, let's. Okay, get some, get some highlights in the highlighter. Okay, this means for the first time, nuclear energy will be part of the EU taxonomy. I love that, which is classification system of the European Union, establishing a list of environmentally sustainable economic activity. Who's your mama? No, that's very important. That's going to drive growth for sure. Well, never know for sure, but this will allow funds to invest in nuclear energy when they're investing in ESG. This is a big change, they emphasize. It hasn't happened yet, but it should happen in the immediate future. They pointed, this will allow funds to invest in nuclear. This is a big change. Hasn't happened yet. 
They pointed out that investing in nuclear energy will drive more capital into the uranium space. It's going to drive more money into ETFs and equities. Hopefully, we will see uranium equities increasing along with equities of companies like ours, he said. They spoke about how mining investors can benefit from the trend of people aggressively pushing for nuclear energy. Investors should examine their portfolios on multiple levels. Producers make money when their mines are in production. The next level is developers who are trying to get their projects into development. Then you have companies like ours, which are exploration companies, he explained. Investors should have a little bit of exposure to a company like Stan Uranium because when we make a discovery, the share price can take off astronomically. Bay continued. That's when you get a lot of talk. Talk on your investments. Indeed, talk. Um, investors should have a basket of some exploration companies, developers, and producers. That's the way to go. Uranium, um, it's, it's uh, volatile. I mean, this is, this is an understatement. What does he say? Uh, um, because when we make a discovery, the share price can take off astronomically. That's when you get a lot of talk on your investments. I love that. Talk. I like my electric car. It's got a lot of talk. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, yeah, uranium. We are doing some interesting stuff in the uranium patch. Stuff you're not going to find elsewhere. I can. Uh, I can't promise you anything. I. 10 try not promises but uh, listen i've got some information i need to get into your hands let's talk about it i want you to understand what's going on in the uranium market i want you to understand how for the benefit of you and your family you can invest in that space got nothing to do with me uh head over to this website right here and to learn more about us and get more information we'd love to start a dialogue get talking to y'all all right greg silverman for another one of our come learn with me sessions on uranium, up for now from the Cape of Good Hope.